Greetings, Earthlings. I'm back with another edition of the Versus series. So today we're gonna to be comparing the Blue Spark SL, the Blue Bluebird SL, and the Blue Baby Bottle SL to see which one is the best. And for all of these tests, I am connecting direct to the 2i2 second gen. I'm not doing any post-processing, but check the doobly-doo when I'm speaking into the microphones to see how much I boosted the gain in post. Now let's briefly talk about the build quality of these things. Now all three microphones have an all metal build quality and they also have a high pass filter and negative 20 decibel pad. However, as you can see, the Spark is significantly shorter than the other two microphones, and it does feel slightly less premium than the Bluebird and the Baby Bottle. Also, I know that it's not important, but I will point out that the grills on all three of these microphones are slightly different shapes. And now let's go ahead and jump right into the tests. Now I'm speaking into the Blue Spark SL, which will set you back around $200. This thing has a cardioid polar pattern, a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, a sensitivity of negative 29 decibels, an output impedance of 50 ohms, a max SPL of 136 decibels, a noise level of 16.4 dBA, a signal to noise ratio of 73 dBA, and a phantom power required of plus 48 volts. Now I'm speaking into the Bluebird SL, which will set you back around $300. This thing has a cardioid polar pattern, a frequency response of 20 to 20, a sensitivity of around negative 31 decibels, an output impedance of 50 ohms, a max SPL of 138 decibels, a noise level of 11.4 dBA, a signal to noise ratio of 82.3 dBA, and a phantom power requirement of plus 48 volts. And now I'm speaking into the Blue Baby Bottle SL, which will set you back around $400. This thing has a cardioid polar pattern, a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, sensitivity of negative 28 dB, output impedance of 50 ohms, max SPL of 134 decibels, a noise level of 10.8 dBA, a signal to noise ratio of 83.2 dBA, and a phantom power requirement of plus 48 volts. Now I'm spinning around the Spark SL to show you how it sounds from 90 degrees or this side. We'll continue around to 180 to show you the rear rejection and rear coloration. Moving back around to 90 degrees and then we will slowly resolve at zero degrees. Now I'm spinning around the Bluebird to 90 degrees to show you the off axis coloration and rejection. Continuing around to 180 to show you how it sounds from the rear. We will continue around to the secondary 90 degree angle and we will end back at zero degrees. Spinning around the blue baby bottle to 90 degrees to show you the off axis coloration. We'll continue around to 180 to show you how it sounds from the rear. We will continue back around to the secondary 90 degree angle and then we will continue and end at the front of the microphone right on top of the spark to show you the proximity effect, right on top of the bluebird to show you the proximity effect, right on top of the blue baby bottle to show you the proximity effect. Two feet away from the spark SL, two feet away from the bluebird SL, about two feet away from the blue baby bottle SL. Now I'm typing on a keyboard with Cherry MX Blues to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. Now I'm doing the keyboard noise test on the bluebird SL. And we're doing the same noise test on the Baby Bottle SL. mic be? Will it be the mic you currently see? What will the best mic be? Will it be the mic you currently see? What will the best mic be? Will it be the mic you currently see? Whoa, yeah, 
party on, dude. -da -da. I officially hate myself beyond comprehension. And the winner of this versus series is drumroll please, the blue baby bottle SL with a couple of caveats, which of course I will go ahead and explain. So on the electric and the acoustic guitar, I actually preferred the other two microphones over the baby bottle. And between these two microphones, it's almost a dead heat. Now there are some slight variances in the tone between the Spark and the Bluebird. So in that sense, it does come down to personal preference. For instance, the Spark does have a slightly more pronounced bottom and top end, so if you're looking for that, then there you go. But on the other hand, the Blue Bluebird has a better self-noise, signal-to-noise ratio, and max SPL specification. But then we get to the singing and spoken word tests, and if I had to rank these in order, I would rank it the Baby Bottle to the Spark SL, and then ending with the Blue Bluebird. Now the reason that I chose the Baby Bottle is the main thing that I use microphones for are spoken word and singing. And when you listen to those activities on the other two microphones, in the higher frequencies, there's a bit of crunchiness or graininess to them that I personally think takes away from the performance and makes them less pleasing to listen to. And also, the Baby Bottle has the lowest self noise as well as the best signal to noise ratio spec. So if you're recording voiceovers or music for a client and they have high expectations, those specifications are going to be very important to focus on. So really quick summary, if you're recording acoustic or electric guitar, I do think the other microphones are better suited for that and give you a better sound. But if you're recording singing or spoken word and you're looking for a flatter, much easier to listen to microphone, then I 100% think the Baby Bottle is the winner here and I personally would select this microphone over all three of these. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today, but I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Did you agree with my conclusion or do you think I'm completely off my rocker and my assessment is 100% wrong. But if you did get anything out of this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you did hate it, go ahead and give me a thumbs down. If you want to be an awesome member of the podcastage community, check the Discord server, link in the description, and I will see you all later. Thanks for watching and listening. Bye.